My name is Mr. Big Daddy, and one thing I know is promoting people and businesses. Standing only five feet tall and having experience in the independent professional wrestling circuit, as well as creating my own corporate video production company, my takeaway has always been overcoming challenges and the value of getting noticed. This season, I have formed my own all-star female roller derby team. I handpicked these players because they showed me some pizzazz, and while all of them are at different derby skill sets, I wanted to promote them as a team. Lastly, securing the services of a young gun derby coach who doesn't always see my point of view, I brought them all together to form the Dominating Divas. When I get done promoting this derby dozen, they will know the value of selling themselves to others and just may fulfill their achievement of derby dreams. Derby today is all about the sport, the competitiveness of it, and there's a lot of rules that you have to follow. It's two 30-minute periods. First game is 30 minutes. You take a 10-minute break, and you come back out for 30 more minutes. Each team has a jammer on their team. They wear the star on their helmet, and they're going to try to skate around and pass everybody, and everybody they pass on the opposite team, they get one point. Each jam is two minutes. It's a full-contact sport, but it's absolutely a sport. Every person that I talk to that hasn't seen roller derby today is, you know, where's the ball? Where is you get to clothesline somebody? Like, no, you know, it's it's a real sport. We, we practice our butts off. If we clothesline or if we elbow, it'd be a major penalty and we go to the box. My mother was diagnosed with breast cancer and I felt like I really needed something to, you know, help me deal with what was going on in my personal life and I found Derby and I love it. I took a figure skating class on ice and I saw a flyer for ice hockey. So I did ice hockey for a while and I loved it. And then on the radio, I heard about roller derby. Smackdown spots, who dat? I've been doing it for five, you know, going over five years now and I really love it. My sister and I, we both play. This is our seventh season. What I most like about roller derby is the competitiveness. Go, go! Keep her behind you, do what you got. I like that it's full contact. Get it, get it, get it. And I like the recognition that I get. Another by Kick Face Trace. I got into derby because I went and saw the movie Whip It, and then of course I posted, oh, I wanted to play roller derby, not knowing that one of my friends actually played. I've always been described as dancing to the beat of my own drum. Roller derby has always caught my interest. I got a degree in graphic design. I've been doing it for 18, 19 years. I feel like I'm pretty good at it. During the day, I work as a graphic designer at an educational company. I work in the art department section, designing the t-shirts. I work at a comic book store, and I also write for my school's newspaper. I am a licensed massage therapist. I am also a medical massage practitioner. I am a nail technician. I have a license in that as well. I was having trouble picking a name and my favorite superhero is Batgirl. And Batgirl's real person name is Barbara Gordon. So then I decided that I would be Barbara Gorton. My number is 359, which Detective Comics 359 was actually the first appearance of Barbara Gordon Batgirl. I come from years of skating background. I started in roller derby in 2004 as a referee and I was kind of teaching girls how to skate, got into playing the sport myself. Then I moved into the just more extensively just coaching. Why are we not stopping Vanna? So you may be wondering, why am I in the roller derby game? That's a little unique. I'm a little unique. And I've had my own television production experience. So I know what it's like to promote a company and sell yourself. So there is one thing that I do know how to do, and that's promotions. So I couldn't think of a better way to use my experience than to promote roller derby. Get out there and do it! When you get a group of girls that come in that know how to skate, it's really easy to teach them the game. New ones are, are typically a lot easier to teach because they don't know anything. Barbara and I are both fresh meat. However, she joined the league before I did, so I'm even more new than she is. My first time I ever was on skates, I couldn't even stand up. I put on skates without being able to skate and started with the league. So I went from being a non-skater to now I play derby. These girls collectively, with all their skills, is gonna be one dynamic team. Coaching this new team now, we're gonna start off with 
everything that they think they know about roller derby, they're going to forget. And now they're going to listen to me and we're going to start all over and start with what they didn't do. Coming into it, you don't know who's new and who's older. It's always a struggle to get used to new girls and skate together and learn everybody's style and try to start reading each other. You have an easier coaching day with newer skaters. It takes a lot of endurance and working out. and You can't just jump into derby. You have to be fit and be prepared to get fit for it. A lot of hours and hours and hours of dedicated practice, extra lessons, hiring a trainer. It's not easy, but it's so fulfilling and it's completely worth it. Practice is where you feel like you're going to throw up or, you know, die of heat stroke, but it's in the end, it's, it's well worth it and you can definitely tell the difference from the work you put in. And we got our first bout coming up, and even though it is a scrimmage against the SmackDown Spice, I got so excited I wanted to promote it like a real roller derby bout, and I wanted to get the girls so excited about it, I wanted to give them a little je ne sais quoi. So I printed up some tickets. I am the lawman, and let's get this thing underway. You know, one thing I'm so excited about this scrimmage is I get to be the MC for the event. And you know, there's nothing better I love than having a microphone in my hand and the power to talk. Ladies and gentlemen, we're so glad you decided to join us here. Welcome to the Flat Track Derby All-Star League. We have the Dominating Divas versus the SmackDown Spice. Our referee for this afternoon is Double Zero Todd, Justice the Lawman. I've been doing this for 14 years. A team can do really well with a good jammer. But if a team doesn't have awesome blockers to support that jammer, it doesn't matter how good that jammer is. I'm designing myself to be a blocker. I gotta get through. You gotta make some walls and get on that. Get on that. Keep face trace. Just, I cannot get around her. My job is to pretty much take the jammer out. That's the position. Jammer killer. Jammer killer. I'm a jammer killer. I definitely want to focus on becoming a jammer. And I want to blow people's minds with how awesome I am. My love is really blocking, which is funny because I started out really wanting to be a jammer. I'm not afraid to give hits. I'm not afraid to take hits. I'm really good at timing other girls' moves and predicting their moves. You better watch yourself, Bella. My name is Bella Disastro. I play blocker, pivot, and jammer for SmackDown Spice. Leading up the pack, our jammer is the Shocker. The Shocker. And she is one shocking woman to be dealing with, let me tell you. And as a jammer, she's going to take us all the way. Shocker's been playing a long time, and she is a powerhouse. And she's very smart about what she does. She can get the jammers out of bounds, she can stop, and she can hold them back. And the best is when, you know, girls come up to you and they're going to try to knock you down. And they get up to you and they, they hit you as hard as they can and then they bounce off. Problem is, is she skates like she's wearing flip-flops. Now, I don't know what Rhino's problem is. The Shocker scored a point. Thank you, Shocker. Now, I checked out this other team, the SmackDown Spice, and they have some players that look pretty good. And that jammer looks really good. In fact, I might go see if she wants to be a part of the Dominating Divas when she gets done with this team. I'm Vanna Rockin. I'm the jammer for SmackDown Spice. The Dominating Divas, they're the Dumpy Divas, in my opinion. Mm. I'm Kate Tujan. I'm playing blocker for the SmackDown Spice. Derby is a good time. It's hard, but it keeps you in shape. I hope the outcome will be that we win. I'm Bare Knuckle Balboa. I'm hoping to get blood. Now to show the girls that Mr. Big Daddy knows how to promote roller derby, I assembled this poster that I showed them at the beginning of their bout. And needless to say, I think they were a little impressed. So ladies, I'm real excited. I want you to see this publicity poster I came up with. It's gonna help promote you girls. And I'm gonna put it up all over town. And you come to Mr. Big Daddy if you need anything, all right? Mr. Big Daddy has big, big personality. Maybe a little bit of an attitude, but he'll definitely bring something in into our team and promotion-wise and getting us out there I think will be great. He's a very smart man. He knows how to promote. He knows how to market. Well, Mr. Big Daddy, I've heard a lot about him. He's got an extensive background in promotions. However, I'm a little concerned that he doesn't know the derby world very well. And as far as I know, him and Rhino have butted heads a little bit on that one. Good promoter, okay? The guy knows how to promote the sport, but I don't think he knows squat about how the sport goes at all. When Shocker scores a point as the jammer, it'll be okay if she just kind of goes like that in front of everybody. not okay. Why? We're not showboating here. We're serious. It's a serious sport. Now, I don't know why Rhino got so upset. I mean, I'm not getting into his coaching tactics 
All I was doing was suggesting the girls could pose for some publicity shots out there on the track. A little showboating for after the match. You don't, you after don't talk to her. You know what happens? She's going to do some trip and fall, and then what happens? And then she's stuck back and we have to go back around. Well, okay. I, don't think, I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, I'm not trying to get in your business. You're the coach. You're always but, in the business. No, I, I want to see him put on a pair of skates and then him tell me how to do it. Oh, there's no talking to you. Mr. Big Daddy should keep to promoting things and not trying, you know, to step on Rhino's feet. He's going to have to be careful when he's talking to Rhino because Rhino's very strong-headed and Rhino will put him in his place. Try not to do anything stupid. I think they're a good group of girls. I think they need a little better coaching maybe. If you think this is so easy, put on a pair of stripes and referee the game. I hope he's satisfied, because now we got to start the jam completely over. I think the ref is a joke. It's clear to see that the referee should have had a pair of glasses on, because he would have made better calls if he had been blind. I hope you get a date out of this, maybe. The fact that he thought he'd like to date one of these girls from the roller derby team? I mean, come on, let's be serious. He'd have better luck dating someone from the morgue before one of these girls would go out with him. That's really the only reason I show up. But one thing I will not stand for is infractions. Hey, ref, did I get you go to the penalty box? I need you out there. You the I can't block. You can't. We can't stop the team if I got girls in the penalty box. You got to stay on the track. If he's gonna penalize my girls without penalizing the other team, he's got another think coming. No, face. no, you need to send them to the penalty box. I will send them when I feel it's necessary. Well, it's Do not we fair. It's not fair you send our team to the penalty well, box. because your team is a bunch of rule breakers. Oh, now the referee thought he was being cute, getting down to my level. Don't give me a call. Don't patronize me. Give me a uh, call. Nobody messes with Mr. Big Daddy, either inside the rink or outside of the rink. Mr. Big Daddy is a little runt. Mr. Big Daddy can kiss my size 13. He's like one of those smart cars. You just That's it. Your number's mine. I think for a new team, the SmackDown Spice has done really well. Did you notice on SmackDown Spice, the new beginner name? My name is Nita Alibi. I've just started skating. This is my first year. My sister's been skating for about eight years now. Well, she's actually the sister of Kickface Trace and the Shocker. The nickname that they gave us was the Smash Sisters. We're very intimidating when we show up, and um, a bunch of people are scared of us. We're sweethearts, but we're, we're monsters on the track. So they wanted me to do it, so I had to give it a try. She may be coming over the Dominating Divas, and we would have a triple threat on our team. Run it in! Run it in! Well, we had a pretty good scrimmage bout this time out, and we did win. But I've got a lot more promotions to do. Rhino's got a lot more coaching, and I just hope all these girls can stay together and get along together as a team. You are surrounded by so many girls, and I've never really gotten along with girls that well. But you never know what's going to happen in the world of roller derby. It's so exciting to be able to see what we're going to make of this and what kind of team we're going to come up with. We're athletes, and derby is, you know, the love of our lives. I hope I'm derby or die. I hope I'm here till I retire. We're not your granddaddy's roller derby. Yeah!